The screen recorder feature here in iOS 11 is a great way to capture the screen from your iPhone or your iPad and turn that into a video file. And you can even capture not only the audio from your iPhone or your iPad, but you can even capture your commentary over the top using the microphone. However, there is one catch, and that is when you go to edit that video file, it will only bring in your iPhone's audio, not the commentary that you've added. So you can play it back in your photos, but if you want to edit it and share it, then you lose that second track. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little workaround that can help you get both of those audio tracks onto one track and able to be edited. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And as you may know from watching the channel here, I use the screen recorder function here on my iPhone and my iPad to record my demo videos, to do my tutorials and even to capture some of my GarageBand recordings here on my phone. There are 101 different uses for the screen recorder. But the challenge that I have had is that when I go to edit those videos, it will only bring across one track of audio because what it does is it actually separates the audio onto two separate tracks. Now if you copy that over to your PC, you'll be able to import that into something like Premiere Pro and both audio tracks will show up as two separate tracks. However, here in iOS, the only way to get that over as the one track mixed down into one track of audio is the little workaround that I'm going to show here. And as usual, whenever there's a cool feature that I show here that's a bit of a hack, it's thanks to our own GarageBand hacker. Ponk 80. So let's dive into the phone now and we'll take a look at how we can do this here. Let's go. Okay, so because we are going to have to show the screen recorder function, I'm going to have to record my phone screen as opposed to using screen recorder here. So what I'll do here is I'll show you what I've just recorded here. So if we go into my photos on this phone here, uh, you can see behind the scenes of what I'm recording here, which is my latest GarageBand Quick Jam. So this video file here, 9 minutes 47, we'll tap on that one. This is my complete screen recording. So what I do is I record one video file, which is this one here, that has all of my screen recording of how I record my GarageBand Quick Jam. So it'll have the GarageBand background and it will have my audio voiceover. And what this file will have right now, you can't really hear it very well in the video here, but it is playing back both my voice and when I actually tap on something in GarageBand, it will play the GarageBand sound as well. And it will put that all into this one video file. So let's just pause that for now and we'll come out here. Now, the problem that we have is that when we bring this one as it is into iMovie, it will bring in the audio, but it will only bring in the iPhone's audio. It won't bring in that commentary that I do over the top. And if you want a quick refresher on how to record the screen and how to record it with commentary, let's just do that now. So if we swipe up the screen like this, we have here the record option and I won't show you how to set this up to get this in your quick menu here because I have a complete video about that which I will link up above and down below. Uh, but what we can do here is if we tap and hold on this record button, we get this option screen up here. So we can record not only the uh, regular audio, so if we leave it as is, so if we turn this off, we will record just the audio from our phone. If we turn this on, we're gonna record our microphone audio as well, so that when we hit record and we have either a microphone plugged in or we just use the onboard microphone, it's going to record the screen's audio or the iPhone or iPad's audio, as well as my commentary audio, which is exactly what I do when I first record. So I've done that to generate these video files here. And then the next trick, and this is where it gets really quite simple and quite strange, is that all we need to do is actually play back this file while screen recording again. So because in the Photos app here, it will play both of these tracks of audio, all we need to do to get a single video file that we can then edit in iMovie and LumaFusion and any other editing app here on the iPhone or the iPad is to actually record this, but with the microphone audio off. So let's show you how to do that now. All I'll do is I'm here in my Photos app. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to swipe up gently and carefully, there we go. I'm gonna tap and hold on this record icon and then I'm gonna start my recording, but with the microphone audio off. So let's tap start recording now. And we'll get our three, two, one countdown. And then what I need to do is come back here to my photos by sliding down and then hitting play. 
And what I'm now recording, what my screen recording is, is it's screen recording my screen recording. It sounds a little bit weird, but because it is all digital and all here inside the iPhone or the iPad, then it won't lose any quality. You're gonna get a good reproduction of the original audio. But the difference is, instead of it being separate, and instead of you not being able to edit both tracks, it will mix those down. Now keep in mind that it'll then put it to one track. So if you are then editing, you need to make sure that the sound on your iPhone is balanced with your microphone audio. So that just takes a little bit of trial and error, making sure that your volume is right and your microphone volume is loud enough so that it's not drowning each other out. But that is literally all there is to it. So if we come back here now, we'll just click out of there. Let's go back to my photos. It gets a bit confusing when you have all these photos of screen recordings, but all of these little sections, what I've gone through is I've done this, and I've done it in sections because what other tip I'll give you here is that because this was like nine minutes, sometimes once you get to a screen recording of a screen recording, if the if iPhone or the iPad glitches out halfway through, it's gonna just stop recording and then you can have problems. So what I tend to do is I do it in chunks here, so I've got sort of one minute to two minute chunks. So I'll just play the video. I'll set my screen recorder going. I'll stop it. I'll play the next part. So now I have these sections here and all of these individual little sections are my individual sections for my GarageBand Quick Jam. So all I need to do now is actually bring these into either iMovie or LumaFusion, which is what I use now for video editing. And if you do want to see more about video editing, it's not really what the channel is all about. It's more about music and audio, but I'm more than happy to give some more details and some demonstrations about how to do that, but I thought this was interesting for now. It just means that even if you're sharing to Facebook or to YouTube or anywhere, if you're recording your GarageBand sessions, if you're recording any of your screen captures here that you want to give a voiceover for, any sort of tutorial videos, any sort of explaining videos, or if you're just sending something to your mum or dad about how to do something on their iPhone, it's a really cool way to do that. So I hope you found this trick, this little tip useful, and thanks once again to our friend Ponk80 for the suggestion of how to do this. And there you go, a very unusual but simple way to get our screen recording audio into the one track so that we can edit it in iMovie, LumaFusion, whatever iOS editing app. And this is what allows me to make my GarageBand Quick Jam videos 100% on my iPhone. All of the footage, all of the audio doesn't leave my phone. It's all recorded right there. I hope you found this useful and that you can use this in the future. And even if you can't, hey, it's a cool thing to know. If you'd like to provide any comments or questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. We've got two more videos linked up down below where you might even learn something new. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon up in the top right and head on over to studiolivetoday.com. I'd love to see you there and you'll check out some more audio goodness.